Hello friends, let's go to Costco. I am so freaking excited to go to Costco today. I'm gonna take you with me to see all the new seasonal things. We're just gonna do a fun little peruse around the store. I may not buy much, but I will take you around and see all the things we can see. So if you're new here, my name's Miley. Welcome. We do lots of fun things on this channel, like shopping videos, grocery hauls, book content, theater content, to get my home projects and design, vlogs of our life and travel, all kinds of fun things. So if you're into any of that and you haven't hit the red subscribe button yet, then what the heck are you waiting for? Hit that red subscribe button. Without further ado, let's go into Costco and I may be leaving with $130 Disney Christmas Village. It may be happening. Let's go. Oh my gosh, already so many fun things. I love Costco. Okay, first of all, they have marigolds now. Ooh, and look at these, this giant plant. That is so pretty. What is that? I love it. Oh my God, look at all the lines. That's insane. Okay, I really love this plant. Here's a uh, bird of paradise, like Archie. I really love this. Do I want one? Oh my gosh, I might want one. It's so cute. Okay, already right here at the front, some lovely outdoor Christmas things, love it. Pretty wreaths and pretty trees. I love this one, this one's gorgeous. Only $1,000. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Too fun, too, too fun. So I'm on the hunt for something very specific that was here last time when I was with my mom and Tatum that I didn't get and I have regretted it ever since, so I am getting it today. If it's here, I think it's here. I see it down there, I think. I'll show you, let's go. The lines are insane. That's the line through the aisles to check out with a person. I always do self check out because that's better, but oh, 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 it's here. I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm such a freak. Okay, I think this is the one I want with the three separate buildings. I'm such a freak, but there's also this one, which is really good. And what I like about this one is that it's different characters like Dumbo, Winnie the Pooh, Lady and the Tramp, Bambi. And then there's also this one that's got the train going through it. That one's pretty cool too. And this spins, but I think I like, I think I like the three separate pieces the best. I'm doing it. This is what happens when I don't have Eric with me. Bad decisions happen or good ones. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Oh. And I've seen some Mickey and Minnie figurines, like two big ones, but I only saw a Grinch one in that style. I did not see the Mickey and Minnie one, so I think they maybe don't have it at this Costco. That's sad. <sighs> okay, next I'm going to look at the books and see if they have anything good today. I'm not seeing anything, but you never know. Okay, that's kind of a fun coffee table book. Also says this one. I've seen this one before. I've never seen this one. I'm looking specifically for the Throne of Glass book series because I really want it, but I've seen it here for really inexpensive. It might be in the kids section, honestly. Okay, now I'm in the clothes section and I always say never sleep on the clothes at Costco because they are so good. In fact, I think I'm wearing Costco pants right now. Here's some cute joggers. These are awesome like cargo joggers. This is not my size, but it's $12.99, crazy. They also have super, super soft PJs. I love this Splendid um, brand. I only like their shorts and tanks though, so I'm not gonna get any long sleeve, but they're so soft. If you're looking for soft, cheap PJs, they're only 15 bucks and they're really good. Okay, this is what I want right here. An inflatable spa. I want it. <laughs> I think I would use it, honestly. I've, I've My greatest dream in life is to have a hot tub. Eric knows this. We've been married almost nine years. It hasn't happened yet. Ooh, they have Swedish dish cloths. I've heard these are really good specifically for drying fruit, like putting in your fruit um, like basket in the fridge to help keep the moisture out. Hmm, those are cute. I like this pattern. Adorable. Oh my gosh, they have ruggable here? Since when? Oh, that's awesome. Look how fun this pattern is too. What's the price on these? $300 for an eight by 10. That is awesome. Oh my gosh. What is that? That looks like right. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that feels like a minky, you guys. What the heck? I want it. I don't need it at all, but I want it. This is so fun. Also, I have Costco pillows, by the way. 
they are amazing. If you're ever in the hunt for pillows and they're really good prices, they're us they usually come in a pack of two. They're super, super good quality. They hold up over time. They're real down, some of them. They're really, really good. You can get memory foam ones too. I have both down and memory foam and they're both really awesome pillows. Like seriously awesome. Ooh, that looks interesting. I like that. Okay, they have really good fake plants and look at the orchids right there. Really nice. Lots of Squishmallows if you're looking for Christmas presents already. Um, you cannot beat the price on these pumpkins. Look at this. Heirloom pumpkins, $6 each. Jumbo ones, $7. Regular ones, $5. Insane. That's amazing. It makes me want to get more for my porch, but I won't. Um, but I want to. I always check the dog section because they have really good deals on dog stuff. Let's see what they've got today. Lots of treats. No bed, but this is like a firm mat. Interesting. I don't think my dog's gonna like that. Some toys. Okay, kind of hit or miss. Oh, they have a nice um gate. That's an incredible price. $27 for that? Wow, that's good. I'm going down the paper goods aisle to see if there's anything for our upcoming Halloween party. I mostly just see like Thanksgiving style plates and stuff. I don't think there'll be Halloween stuff right now. Yeah, no Halloween, unfortunately. That's unfortunate. Okay, I'm skipping all the food sections today because I don't need anything right now, but I do want to go to the other side and peruse all the like home style items and things to you anything cool I find. Honestly, I'm secretly on the hunt for not the Ninja Creamy, but the Ninja Slushy. I've heard it makes incredible ices. And you guys know I have an addiction to ices, so if I find that, I maybe we can buy it just saying. Okay, this is very intriguing to me. They have Dole Whip here. I always forget that they do, but I need to get it sometime when I'm headed straight home. I'm not headed straight home right now, so I can't get it, but I do want to try it. Ooh, I missed the shoe section. Look at this. They've got some tennis shoes. I wonder if they've got anything for Eric. He needs some new tennis shoes, but he really just loves Kizix. Oh no, these are kind of cute. Oh my gosh, they're Steve Madden. Oh, is that my size? Interesting, very interesting. I'm gonna have to pass. Oh my gosh, the change over here is drastic. It's so much quieter, so much less busy, and I'm finding some good stuff, look at this. 14 reusable storage bags, and look how adorable these prints are. Look at the cherries and the pears. Are you kidding me, for 10 bucks? That is good, there's 14 of them. I kind of want to get them. They're so cute. Okay, I have to point these out. These are so, so, so fun. Gingerbread house molds. I actually have one of these. My Adarla got one for me years ago and I use it every Christmas to decorate a gingerbread house, but they're so, so good alternative for decorating gingerbread houses that are so much less messy. We do it every year with my grandparents and my Aunt Darla, and we, oh my gosh, look how cute this is. Are you kidding me? Silicone? Anyway, um, it's so much less messy than gingerbread or like graham crackers or whatever like it's so much fun to do it with pound cake so hot tip Ooh, oxo spritz cookie maker are you kidding me oh my mom had a spritz cookie maker probably from like william sonoma or something um but this looks awesome and we always made spritz cookies at um christmas time is that what they're called spritz cookies i'm pretty sure that's what we called them anyway okay those are gorgeous are you kidding me? They're non-stick. <gasps> That's beautiful. And they're only a hundred dollars. Wow, for 10 pieces? That's crazy, I want that. Look at this vintage looking Tupperware. <gasps> I love them. Oh, they are so freaking cute. <gasps> How much are they? $70, oh my gosh, for 32 pieces. That is so good. Some woman just walked past me, fully belched out loud did not say excuse me just kept talking to whoever she was with <gasps> oh are we on the ninja aisle ninja i see anywhere or slushy whatever it's called i don't know what it's called i don't see it dang it okay i totally have this and i pull it out for parties sometimes it's an indoor s'mores maker it is very very slow but for 19 dollars, it definitely works and if people have the patience it's kind of almost like a conversation area because you have to wait so long for the marshmallow to toast but if you don't mind that it's actually really really good okay they also have the shark hair dryer slash curling iron slash diffuser slash all the things for 250 as compared to the dyson honestly that's a really good price for the dyson remember when it was 500 dollars but i've always been curious about trying the shark one because i love the shark brand but i just cannot bring myself to pay that much for a hair dryer especially when my 25 dollar revlon hair dryer 
is amazing. It's a roller hair dryer and it does the trick perfectly. <gasps> candles. This set of candles, it's four candles for $20. They're all different like holiday scents. They smell very good. I think the cinnamon pumpkin chai is my favorite one, but they all smell really good. I also like the sapphire cashmere. It was a little more like fresh smelling and not as like heavy. I honestly would get these because if you know us, Eric and I are candle stands and we go through candles, okay? Like we go through them, but I don't like the outsides of them. I think they're kind of like two on the nose holiday. So I'm gonna pass on them, even though they're a really good price and they do smell great. Okay, I have seen this advertised many a time. I've been very interested in it. It's $50, it's a handheld steamer. So it's like an iron plus a steamer. You can do either with it and it looks really, really cool. But I'm gonna leave it. Wow, we are just perusing every aisle, aren't we? What is this Dyson fancy thing? Luxurious towel warmer. Oh shoot, honestly, that's on my Christmas list for Eric. I think he would love to have a towel warmer. He loves luxurious things. How much is it? $85, no, I can get one cheaper, but that is a nice looking one. Very sleek. Okay, I think that's everything interesting over here, but I wanna go to like the body care section if it's not too busy before we leave, because I wanna, I haven't been to that section in forever. I wanna see what they have over there. Okay, and if I wasn't gonna be in the car all day long and going from place to place, I would totally get this gorgeous multicolor rose bunch. So, so pretty, and I think they're like $20. Okay, last section, like the bathroom stuff. I just wanna kinda peruse. This is more like medicine-y. I don't really need anything down here, but we'll see if we find anything exciting. Okay, random, but Eric and I love the Costco toothbrushes. They're like the perfect amount of like soft, but still like legit. Okay, I bought these Christmas hand soaps last year. They're a tiny bit different than they were. Like, I don't remember the mouse one, but they had this one and this guy. I think these two are maybe a little bit different, but they are honestly not as good as I wanted them to be. They're only $12, so it's a good price, but I ended up getting Bath & Body Christmas ones too because I just liked those better. So those are kind of a maybe don't get. Okay, I took a quick potty stop. Now I think I'm ready to check out, so let's go. All right, that was successful. Now let's go home. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Got a messy bun going on. I forgot to show you the haul, which you pretty much saw what I bought, but let me show you in depth. And yes, I did buy some other things at other stores. You actually will see all those things in an upcoming video where I do a little um, project refresh around the house. So here's what I got at Costco. First of all, this very pretty, that's the back of it, but look, I just love the color of the leaves. I love like how they spiral. I don't know, I, I don't know what this is. What is it? Dumb cane. Fascinating. <laughs> it's just really nice. I really think it's so pretty. I love all the spots. So I got that, it was $19. And then the Pièce de Résistance, I mean, come on. Look at this. It's just absolutely amazing. <laughs> I love it. Comes with all these characters. I am such a freak, but I just love it. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love it. It was $130, yes, that is absolutely ridiculous. Do I regret it? No, I do not, I'm so happy I have it. And then I ended up getting those first joggers we looked at, so let me show you what they look like. I don't know if they fit or not, so let's go try them on. Okay, these are actually, please ignore my <laughs> closet door with no door handle, we gotta fix that. Um, these are actually so perfect. They're nice and big and roomy, I sized up. They have like a little cargo pocket on the side. They are so soft. They are a little long for me, but that's okay because they have a um, band at the end. So they just kind of gather and slouch a bit, which is fine with me. Oh my gosh. They're super high-waisted. They have a nice drawstring. Oh gosh, I gotta clean my mirror too. There's something on them. But I just think these are super cute. What is on my mirror? Oh, it's moisturizer, gross. Okay, I love these, they're a total win. Oh, they're so soft. They're literally like buttery, buttery soft. I love them, oh my gosh. Oh, these are so comfy, so comfy. I should have got two. That is it for the haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.